All right, ladies and gentlemen, in this best of three, winner gets to go on and face 07, loser gets third place. So, Box choosing to bring Kremlin, Montana, uh, Stalingrad, Moskva, Des Moines, Salem, Gearing, Ragnar, and Marceau. Remember, Box is in a very strong position. They can afford to lose two games, and they're fine. It's okay. So, we'll see if they're going to rest up a little bit or if they're going to go hard and try to secure this game. What's going on with uh, Team Red over there, Mr. Raptor? All right. Opposing them from the south, wearing red, this game is KSC, bringing Montana Kremlin, Des Moines, Salem, Minotaur, yay, and an Henri Quatre. And then, of course, frowning things out with a gearing Zass, favorite destroyer, that's Aussie Zeus in a Z-52, mm -hmm. and Serpent Lord in a Grozovoy, which we have seen in the event, but is not a normal or a common pick for destroyers here in King of the Sea. Yeah, it brings a lot of utility uh, to the battle. A lot of all, pretty much almost every consumable available to destroyers, frankly. Um, but, uh, you know, it's a jack of all trades, master of none. Yeah, so I mean, um, there it's 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 kind of like the ultimate. Um, what am I trying to say here? The ultimate uh, um, American destroyer in a way, right? American destroyers are very much jack of all trades, but Grozovoy brings even more utility than that because she has... Defensive fire, which isn't relevant here, but in randoms could be mm -hmm. uh, the heal, the smoke, the speed boost. She has a, a vast array of consumables at her disposal that give her a lot of tactical flexibility. That's right. Now, Zath, you said something else I want to talk about before we get too deep into the action here. And that is that these teams are vying for the, the chance to go play 07. And for both of these teams, it's the chance to go play 07 again. Because, yes. you're, because remember, KSC losing to 07 in the semifinal round and then bonks losing to 07 in uh, the previous the winner's bracket final round and so one of these teams is going to get whoever whatever we get for the last match today it's going to be a rematch that's right now doofy just took a big hit from down and loves got smacked a bit came out too far and as a result uh they're they're kind of kind of backing off a bit here yeah, Doofy took a good hit there. The Monty got some good shells in on him. He was already kind of backing up for the the Zed torpedoes that he kind of kind of anticipated. Yeah. Oh, look at Schwartz. Schwartz yeah. is yeah. Sh Schwartz oh, and no. Hitake are in a bit of trouble here now. I think Hitake has got his sonar running. I don't see the uh, pulses, but no, Schwartz is going to so. take one of these. He's going to take one in the bow. Oh, well, that's so yep. bad. That's uh, that feels bad, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good early, good early torpedoes from Battleship Nagato there. Yeah, that's a that's a bit of a misplay. Usually, you would expect if you're going in a smoke, you want to pop your hydro. I made that mistake myself, even in clan battles. So hey, mm -hmm. it happens. Meanwhile, we're seeing KSE going, uh, setting up for that ten line push, and it looks like Serpent Lord uh, came under sustained fire for a little bit too. He's down to half health. Made contact with Vivi. Vivi took some hits, Indeed. too. Yep. But they both have a heal, so, you know, they'll be okay. Yep. Two of KSC's destroyers already down about half their HP. We're not even... We're just now three and a half minutes into this game. Now, Serpent is a Grozovoy. He can, he'll be able to recover some of that HP along the course of the match. So he just needs to... Grozovoy is one of those great destroyers that's got longevity as long as you don't make take stupid risks with it and get it blown off the board very quickly, right? Yes. Yes. Now keep in mind, it's it's a rather lengthy ship, and it's it's a little bit of an unwieldy ship maneuverability wise. So, yeah, uh, you know, it, it can it can take torps relatively easier than many of the other destroyers that would normally hide in smoke. Yeah, she doesn't handle all of that great. But you can see Serpent Lord backing his butt out for a second there, just kind of. Doing a quick peek, see what's what's going on, and if anybody's, especially if Vivi is nearby, he did not detect Vivi, so now he's going to come back through the smoke, and he's just going to, looks like rendezvous with Dastard. Both teams have set up for a big rumble over here on the 9-10 line. Salem, Henri, Kremlin, and Grozovoy for KSC, kind of holding their left flank. Man with an RX-7s is Des Moines. For Bonks, you've got Salem, Stalingrad, Marceau, and Kremlin. And they have left mm -hmm. Baconated's Moskva kind of to hold their right flank just to make sure that nobody tries to sneak through the sea cap. But Bonks is making the much more aggressive play right now. Addy, Trix, 
Vivi all moving down the, the nine line here as uh, Tester's Salem is kind of just holding station, shelling Wolfish and uh, the Henri. That's Coop down south. And this is the part where you probably want Schwartz to move up the gearing and spot. But, you know, he took that earlier torpedo. He's probably not interested in really doing much spotting, which is unfortunate because that means that they can't get A. That's going to force yeah. KSC by default to, to fight more over at C, which they may not have been planning on doing. Indeed, the map playing fairly slow here. We're over five minutes in. Nobody owns a cap. In fact, nobody's even stepped onto a cap yet, believe it or not. Neither team has ever put a chip into a cap circle here on North. Now, Dire just radar caught Aussie Zeus, so now now they know where Aussie is. Mm -hmm. the, the problem with that is Doofy is nearby with that Des Moines ready to, to uh, tripwire it into B. Once that radar is out, should Aussie Zeus back into the cap? And the problem is... Go ahead, what? I was going to say, Grosevoy Torps landing on Drix over on that nine-line push. They do get mm. a couple into his bow. So because of the fact that two radars are north of B right now, there's no way for Aussie Zeus to be able to back into B and take it during nope. a radar cooldown. Over at A, um, Schwartz and Hatake have finally set up for a proper smoke push into the cap. Hatake yep. radaring, making sure that Nagato's not there. They know there's a destroyer lurking, of course, because Schwartz took a torpedo earlier. Serpent Lord getting hit again. Coop getting hit now. Looks Surprise like KSC that is Dastard's... finally going to pick up A. Surprise that Dastard has been waved off of this 910 line. Kind of feel like his guns were really needed to slow the, the push from uh, Box down the 910 well, line here. I mean, is he flipping his guns around? He's flipping his guns around. They're basically setting up to kite this push. Remember, at one point, Bonks was like super mega ultra aggressive coming down the nine line. And, you know, the, the Coop, Coop Salem and Shadow Wolfish were already kind of set up to kite over on the 10 line. They were basically flipping Dastard around as near as I can figure to get set up for the same kind of thing. It looks like they're going to seed this push, this flank to these guys, but they don't want to do it without, you know, <laughs> dinging them up as they go. Well, sure, but I don't know. I just feel like that gives them a lot of board positioning. Now, granted, all of the three of the bunk ships have moved farther south from that opening. That gives them a chance to fire more towards the mid. So, you know, I, I think it's it's not as catastrophic as it could have been had Drixus stopped. Oh, actually, I, I mentioned that he has stopped now, and he's reversing a little bit, looks like. Good hit from the Montana on Drix. Yeah. What a shot from Danny at 25-ish and change kilometers. They pushed Drix yep. back far enough into that gap. Danny saw it, took a shot. Drix is in a bit of trouble here. I, I'm not sure when his last heal was. I haven't been keeping that close to tabs, but the Henri and the Des Moines have got great lines of fire on him and are not letting up. And he's got more Grozovoy nope. torpedoes coming in. Right. Serpent is also weighing in on this uh, discussion as well. Yes. So it's just a question of when Drix will go down. Now, Vivi is capping C because, hey, why not? Uh, also worth noting, Bonks picks up B cap with Dyer. Zeus can't do anything about it because, lol, Doofy is there with the radar. Yep, Drix is going out. It's only a matter of time. One of these torps going to clip him in the bow? It does. There it is. First blood going to KSC here. They move out to an early lead on the back of it. But for the moment, Bonks holds a small holds a cap advantage. They're going to mm -hmm. be trying to narrow that gap up. Man with an arc seven is almost at half health now. Dastard's quite low, but he's in a Kremlin, so it'll be okay. No Addy, problem. clearly the next farm target. Yeah, they seem they seem they seem to sense that if they can get that that um, that Stalingrad oh. out of position, off the position, they'll be able. They'll be able to make a make a bit of inroads over there. Oh, now while we've been talking about that, take a look at over at A. Schwartz took another torpedo, another gear torpedo. He's down to four k health. Minotaur got smacked by something. Probably F 22s Montana. I thought so, but as I was coming in, it almost looked like it was gearing shells. It looked really weird. Not sure. Yeah. But Danny now moving forward to try to support the team as they secure well, A. Aussie is lit, getting pushed by three different ships here. Dyer's Ragnar in the cap, Doofy's Des Moines north of him. Battleship Nagato's gearing also, but also north of him. 
Aussie's got to try and find a way to salvage his ship here. I don't think he's got a chance uh, to get out of here. He, uh, the best thing he could do is a last stand kind of a fight against Dyer before Doofy gets in here with his uh, Des Moines. I think he's locked up on Doofy's Hydro at this point. Doofy's well within five kilometers, so that's probably what we're mm -hmm. up against here. Yep. And he is at 6,300 hit points in his Stalingrad. Um, but for some odd reason, nobody's shooting him anymore. They can't see him. They have no eyes on Addy right yep. now. He is dark at yep. the moment. Now, there's some blind fire going in down there, but Addy is dark. No one has, no one can spot him. Serpent Lord, I think, might's going to catch a glimpse of him. Maybe. Yep. He just he got pressed. lit now. Yep. There he is. Yep, they've just got eyes on him. That hopefully, or KSC at least, will allow them to finish him off as their lead is whittled down now to about 50 points with nine minutes to play. Meanwhile, look at Hataka Hiyoshi's Minotaur just airmailing these shells to Doofy. Absolutely. Absolutely. The, the players we see bold enough to take Minotaur and King of the Sea are very frequently very good players with Minotaur, right? I think back to mm. 07 and Polarberg, right? So right. we have not seen we have not seen Hitake take this ship, but I got to believe that if, you know, if you're in, if you're playing Minotaur, Radar Minotaur and King of the Sea, you know what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. Especially, especially in the top three. <laughs> Now, it's interesting seeing Nagato come in a little bit, but then it looks like he got waved off. I'm, I, I'm not quite sure what he's planning on doing north of ACAP. Maybe they Big saw Mon the uh, Minotaur shells. Big Montana salvo going in on Addy, but it looks like it's going to fall too far forward. It does. It clips him with one shell. Not as much as they would hoped out of that. Addy Dyer clinging to life. Dyer is detected now. Take is shooting at him. He's choosing not to radar even though uh, he was detected because he's too busy focusing on Dyer right now. But Addy's back to 1,500 or 15,000 hit points, I should say. Dastard quite yep. low. Yep, Addy has slowly built that HP pool back up. Is there? We are tied, and right there is our lead change. Hmm. Bonks now on a small lead on their cap advantage, moving out. But again, a single kill will flip that back very quickly, and... KSC has a couple of opportune targets over here on the 10 line in Tester's Salem and Addy's Stalingrad. Yeah, we have like three separate fights going on here out east. So I'm trying to like arc the camera so that we can see all three of the fights going on at once. It's yeah. ridiculous. I I feel like Tester's going to go down before Addy does. I just don't think he can stand up to Coop's Henri HE for much longer. Uh, they, they slowly whittled to... him down. Eddie's starting to move with the Stalingrad. He's showing broadside to Shadow. Oh, yeah, to the Shadow. They're going to get Addy. There he goes. There he wow. goes. I'm surprised that Addy came out from behind the island. Yeah, that's that's a... Oh, I see. Mouth and RX-7 was threatening him with the Des Moines. Ah, okay. So he he kind of had to change position there. Or at least he felt Lord's, like he did. Serpent Lord's in trouble now. He's at 800 hit points. He might go down here. Vivi's radaring him, I think. Yep, oh, he is he out. does. First kill of the game for Bonks, but that points they badly need. It puts them back in the lead. 40 points and growing, six and a half minutes to play. But I think Vivi's going out right here, Zap. There, there he goes. Is. Oh, Citadel's on Shadow from Baconated's Moskva. Shadow right, dark for the moment. Tester. Now it's just Tester there. Coop and Shadow are going to come up here. They're going to try to make mincemeat out of him, but they have to be careful because, as you mentioned, Baconated is right there with Doofy, well, too. Have a look at C. Things are starting to heat up there. And not only that, but Aussie Zeus's position at B has yeah. finally been rewarded. That Now that they've pulled Doofy off that cap and the and Dyer's Ragnar has been pushed back, Aussie's going to be able to pick up B for a cap advantage for KSC. That's right. That's right. Look at the Montana. Look at Danny Loves' Montana moving up the four line. Love it. I love yeah. it. I love it. They, they He's looking for cross shots right now on either the Moskva he can't get anything on Doofy. Salem's a bit far. There's some really tall islands in the way, but Baconid is Moskva, who's moving up now. Definitely at risk. Danny looks like maybe he's hunting that shot. Look at the 10 line. We might see a ram here. Shadow trying not to get rammed. Oh, no. No, he did it. He dodged it, Zath. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, but now he's going to give himself up possibly to a butt turn No, he's shot. not, because, because watch what's going to happen with Coop. Here comes Coop. He's going to end this conversation. 10K right there. And the reload booster is going. Shadow might go down anyways, though. 
Very likely. So I think it would have been better if Shadow would have just gotten the trade, got the ram. Tester, Tester taking 3, some more shells from across the map. I think that was Danny again. Tester goes out. Henri survives. And, and the Salem, too. So that worked. But there goes Man with an Arc 7. Indeed. And if those guys come around the corner, they're going to have a broadside Dastard at only 10,000 HP to deal with. Dastard's got to get some cover. It's yeah, a two-ship I... lead for KSC, but it feels very tenuous. I feel like he should also stop so that he can look to... Oh, God. Torpedo's coming in on the Death Snail today. Indeed. Minotaur's going to dodge oh. those handles. <laughs> Woo, that was close. He's got his sonar up, baby. That's what you do. That's right. That's what you do. I, Nagato's position, very aggressive on the on the one line. I kind of feel like Daster could have, should have stopped there, actually, just to prevent um, mm. the two from coming around the corner. No, he can't. If he stops there without with his broadside, they're just going to pen him, full pen mm. him through the, through the and just wipe him out. It's only a 100-point lead for KSC. They cannot lose a ship right now. Shadow's only back up to 5K. Coop's very low. KSC has a lot of ships on the verge of death, and these two healthy cruisers on the south side of C are going to be a big problem they're going to have to deal with. Well, but look at A. Look at Raptor now. Now, is he going to take some of these torpedoes? He's going to take two. That'll do it. That's That'll do it. That's a big kill for KSC, because I don't think they're going to be able to protect the health of all these ships they have left at B. Oh, look at this Minotaur gearing slap fight. Battleship Nagato just lost. Not uh, something... Oh! Yeah, yep, yeah, that was almost Aussie's inevitable. Goose yep. goes down. It's still a good lead for KSC, but man, it just still feels like it's on a razor-thin margin right now because I think they're going to be able to, to Robocop Dastard off the board here and pick up B. Now, yeah, the trick is... <laughs> oh, he, he, hits, he got a good hint of Doofy before he goes. He is going yeah. out right here. Yep, Dana loves but, the shells come in. They just miss. But remember, but Goofy, Goofy... Goofy, uh, sorry, he um, Goofy? he ground he grounded himself, and Shadow's mm. lobbing AP into him from the sea cap, and there he goes. There he goes. That's gonna leave C in the hands of KSC, even if Bonks picks up B. Now things are starting to feel a little more comfortable if you're KSC. Oh, absolutely. Uh, as you can see, Shadow even just starting to shoot at Dyer. I don't know if he should be doing that, frankly, but okay. <laughs> Shadow and yep, Shadow and Dyer in a gunfight. That's a gunfight Shadow can actually lose. Exactly. He is losing. Can he take Dyer off the board? 21 hit points. Next no. shell will do it. There it no. is. Does Big he kick Dyer right off the board to go with him? Hang on. Salvo's in the air. He doesn't. No. Dyer clings to life on 1,000 HP, and it's only a 100-point lead for KSC yep. as Bonks yep. is, was on the B cap. The important thing is, is that that means that they cling the sea cap, so they are continuing to get point gain. That's right. We got a minute and 30 left, so... Oh my god, this is going to get close, guys. I really feel like Hitake just needs to get up there and use his tor his his, uh, his last torpedo. I realize he doesn't have to do that, but like, get Baconated off the board. Maintain control of the cap. Although they are, they are, they've got to keep, they're trying to keep Nagato off of A right now. Yep, and Baconated is off the cap already anyways, so he doesn't need yep. to go forward. But that being said, well, Take's Danny's, got torpedoes coming in. Danny's backing up. Danny's moving oh, in and Baconated's Schwartz. backing up. Schwartz! Schwartz detected! He got lit. How did he get lit? Radar 600 from the Moskva. 600 HP and running. He's out! He's out. Cogline oh Torps. Why aren't you torping? 50 the seconds to play. Where's 16. The, there, there. 16 points between these two teams. Oh. Atake moves up with the torpedo. Oh, torpedo. to take out the Montana, but oh. he takes a gearing torpedo. Is he flooding? No, he's bringing it. He's got his super heal ticking. He oh. should be okay. Woo! And just like that, Coop comes in with his Henri saying, you know what, I think I'm just going to prevent you guys from winning. Indeed. Coop speed boosts on to C. I think that's finally going to allow KSC to clean up this game, Zaf. Dyer gets into a gunfight. A couple of shells will take him off the board. My God. Down this to the last ridiculous. second. Down to the last this second is... here. But KSC is going to finally, at long last, with 10 seconds left, secure the game. 
here and force a game four, Zach. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now, Raptor, you know that in my chat, I always put a death pick icon when something major Did, happens. Were you able to keep up that game, Zach? Uh, I was trying. Uh, chat's going wild right now because they're seeing all the death pick icons and they're just like, well, what the hell's <laughs> happening? <laughs> what the hell's, hell's going to happen in five minutes? <laughs> <laughs> what oh, an amazing gracious. game as we like to say is ath are you not entertained um oh my god i i really feel like ksc won that game with the perseverance and the execution on the 910 line right because oh yeah bonks bonks made it very clear they were going to move up and try to use that flank to bag c they focused out the kremlin and it all kind of fell apart from there so mm -hmm. I really have to, I really, again, hats off to the, to the cruisers, to Dastert, to Coop and the guys that played on that shadow wolfish that played that flank serpent Lords, Grozovoy. I really feel like they're the all-stars here for KSC in terms of, of making that, pulling that off. But what about that minnow gearing pair at a man? What a great game they had. I, I despite the fact that that gearing took two of uh, enemy gearing torpedoes and survived yeah. and still managed to have an input in the battle. That was, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, Ascons, buddy, are, are you on oxygen yet? Are you are you breathing it yep. out of a paper bag?